This Rusite gemstone was found in Sumeb, Namibia, and it's called the Light of the Desert. It's 898 carats, and it's uh, by far the largest in the world, probably about four times larger than the next largest stone out there. The rough material for the cerusite gem was acquired by a gem cutter in Sedona, Arizona. Well, they contacted us, so we got down there, met up with them, saw the stone, fell in love with it immediately because it is truly remarkable, and uh, decided to acquire it. And then the big trick, of course, because it's thermally sensitive, shock sensitive, you look at it sideways, it'll split. We had to get it back. So we had to hand carry it. Uh, Terry Ottaway was our gemologist at the time, so she was elected to carry the thing back drew the short straw. It was in a box. She wrapped it up in her big furry boa scarf kind of thing, wrapped that up inside of a, her vest. So she had this big insulated ball that the stone was in, trying to thermally insulate it from any rapid change. There was the plane ride home, the cab ride home. Then, of course, this February in Toronto, she was on tender hooks the whole time, wondering what was going inside the box, because she couldn't very well just rip it open and have a quick look, because that would destroy the, the thermal insulation. So it wasn't until she got home and actually unwrapped it and very slowly and let it equilibrate the temperature that she realized it, was, it made it to Toronto. <laughs> These gemstones actually don't look very beautiful when they come out of the ground. And the process of cutting or faceting some gem faces is actually what brings out the color or the brilliance of the stone. Light comes into the stone and bounces off the pavilion or the backside of the gem. All these flat faces are meant to bring light into the stone, bounce it around, and actually bring it back up to your eye. That's what gives it such beautiful color. Now you can see, for example, that this stone doesn't have as much fire as this one, and that's because what's happening as the light shines into our cerus site, the light is actually being split up into spectral colors or into the rainbow, and gives it sort of that more colorful look. Well, cerusite can be an ore of lead. It's kind of an uncommon ore. It's more prized for its exquisite crystals. But it's more for collectors, and particularly the gemstones. They're exceedingly rare, much more rare than diamonds, rubies, emeralds. By comparison, those three stones are much more common. They're a dime a dozen. At the time we purchased it, the largest stone we knew of was just about 200 carats. So this is four times or more the size of that. So actually cutting it is an amazing achievement.